Hello guys, so today we are here to see read only keyword in Ashisha. What is a read only keyword? So normally uh, read only keyword uh, it will hold the value uh, like it hold the constant value in the runtime. So normally there is a difference between the constant keyword and the read only keyword. Constant keyword we already saw the example of a constant how it's working constant keyword it will help us to declare some valuable uh, value in a compile time but in runtime you can't assign any value but read only you can assign the value in a run runtime by uh, assign initialize in a constructor so here i have a, a read only variable int y equal to 25 and z so normally in a read only you can assign uh, on a declaration of uh, that particular value or uh, you can initialize in the constructor so uh, two uh, two types you can uh, do this uh, as uh, initialize the variable so um, normally uh, one word we tell us that constant is a compile time constants and a read only is a runtime uh, constants so what I uh, okay we'll go and see the real time example so here I have uh, two variables that declared in a read only one is y equal to 25 that is initialized as a read only here only on declaration time so z I didn't uh, initialize any value in a declaration time but in a constraint in a constructor I uh, declared the value 24 so p1 p2 p3 x y z I am trying to assign it in a second constructor so this is what the initialization uh, instance that I created for the sample uh, class. So two values 11, 2, 22 and 32 I initialized. So that will be uh, hit my constructor. So I can change uh, my uh, read only value in a constructor. That is what uh, we saw. But a constant if you declare you can't change any times so only in declaration you can assign the value that's it. So but read only is a constant but you can assign the value even in a constructor too so uh, so that's what uh, here in a second constructor I just directly as in p2 dot x equal to 25 okay just to run this application So, uh, execute 11, 21, and 32, uh, which I assigned in the constructor. So, anyways, on the constructor, the read-only valuable is uh, value is changing. Uh, if you see on uh, the next line of code, p2x, x equal to uh, p2x. What is the p2x? Is 55, 25, and 24. So, x already I assigned uh, here. I set to 55 and y already the 25 and the z 24 so x o z is 25 24 so this is the usage of uh, read only memory so you also can uh, get a benefit and use in your uh, real time application and get how the things are working fine even you go and try with the constant variable too so just feel the use of uh, read only and keep it in mind and use it in your application to make it works better thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us if you not subscribe our channel please go and subscribe to get a more updates